Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. There was a Brazilian senator who came with his wife, and he had told his wife about Amir, and he said, could Amir produce something? And Amir said, oh, it depends upon the spirits, but I think the spirits like her. And then, plunk, a ring came out of nowhere, fell on the floor, it fit her exactly, and so she was very happy. She now had a souvenir from the spirit world, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yeah. Also. Roberto Crema, who was a psychologist on our team, said to Amir, my daughter is having her 12th birthday, and she's looking forward for a gift. Well, he said, it depends on the spirits. I can't do this myself. Plunk! Out of nowhere on the floor came a little ring with 12 rhinestones in it, and it fit his daughter perfectly, mm -hmm. he told us the next day. Mm -hmm. The most common object was colored stones. These are what we call milled stones. You take ordinary stones, you run them through a mill, and they come out looking like semi-precious stones. Mm -hmm. Yes, several dozens of these appear. If they landed in front of a person, that person got to keep them. More interesting were the religious medallions, which go back maybe a hundred years with Latin inscriptions on them. Fortunately, I was able to photograph these because later those were stolen from my apartment, which mm. is a sad story. That's why when I bet back the second and the third time, all of those apports got shipped to the museum in Canada so they wouldn't get stolen. But it was interesting that the design on the religious medallion had some connection to the person whose feet it landed on. Mm -hmm. Pierre Weil sort of focused on the ones that seemed to be written in Latin because he had a uh, background and knowledge of Latin and he was originally from Europe. And the um, medallions that fell to me were more generic in nature in terms of showing um, Jesus Christ with a lamb, symbology of the lamb uh, Jesus sacrificing himself mm -hmm. for the benefit of humankind. And even though Amir was raised Muslim and not Christian, all of the medallions had some connection with Christianity. And another very unusual thing that happened was that from time to time he would say, I think something's going to happen. And then immediately Ruth Colson, the physician on our team, would take his pulse, take his uh, pH reading because he said he had acid feelings in his mouth when something was going to happen. And then plunk, something happened. And then she would immediately again take blood pressure, pulse, and acid reading. Now, when we did the statistics, the acid reading was high, higher than a average, didn't reach statistical significance, but he was still right when he said there was an acid feeling. The um, pulse and the heart rhythm, that again was very irregular mm -hmm. before and after the APOR took place against a baseline reading. So it's a good thing we had this physiological data. Mm -hmm.